Father, once again, we honor you for granting us to see the light of another glorious day. We appreciate your love and mercy and kindness, goodness and love. As you awaken us unto your love, unto your heartbeat, unto your desire, unto your counsel this morning. We approach you with appreciation. We offer to you our thanksgiving this morning. We come before your footstool and we bless your name. We proclaim and we declare, Lord, you reign. <clears throat> Lord, you are worthy. Father, you are exalted on high. Adonai, we celebrate you. Lord of hosts, we glorify you. Once again, we present our lives to you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, for indeed it is our reasonable service. Yes, we proclaim this morning that we do not conform to the elements of this world. We are not conformed to the patterns of this world. We are not regulated by the spirit of this age. Rather, we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. Thank you this morning for the power to renew our mind as we surrender and submit to your will and counsel. Thank you this morning for the great things that you have in stock for us. Thank you for the mighty things that you have in stock for us. Thank you once again that your will once again will find inroad in our life. Oh, Father, we anticipate another beautiful, glorious, fruitful day. We come with gratitude. We come with appreciation. <clears throat> Take your place in our lives this morning. Have your way in our lives this morning. Take your place deep within the recesses of our heart. Deep within the, yes, the structures and the constructs of our being. Those areas of our life that still need your light, we yield, O oh God, too your illumination this morning illuminate us may we this morning once again be a people who can further and better see the realities of your kingdom may your kingdom be formed in us may your kingdom be revealed in us may your kingdom be manifest in us we bless you they say, come bless the Lord. O ye saints of the Lord, who stand by night in his holy place, we stand this morning, we stand this day, and we proclaim that you are blessed. You are honored, you are exalted, you are glorified. Thank you. Praise to you. Glory to you. Glory to you. Once again, we offer our vessels unto you as a living sacrifice that, Lord, you will do what you need to do in us and through us, that we are indeed the instrument, the vessels whereby you release your blessings into the earth. So we present our life holy and worthy unto you this morning. Oh, yes, Father. We recognize our position as priests. We recognize our position this morning as a royal priest, a company of priests. Thank you, Spirit of God, that our priesthood is not after the order of the old and weak mosaic order, Levitical order. That we can stand this morning, yes, on the foundation, on the revelation of an ascended priesthood. Christ seated at the right hand of the Father 
making intercession for us. We bless you this morning that our life is united with that eternal order of priesthood that Christ himself, our Lord, function after the order of Melchizedek. Thank you for this order. There is an order that you are restoring in our day. Thank you, Lord, that everything in us yearns and screams out for this order. We long for this order. We break away from the old and weak order, oh God. <clears throat> we break away from the weak order of a Le Levitical priesthood. Yes, you've judged. You've judged it. It's dead. So we declare this morning that we rise up in the understanding, in the revelation of the new day, of the third day, of the finishing order. Thank you this morning. We undress our entire being from the weak elements of religion. We clothe ourselves this morning with Christ. They say be clothed with Christ. We declare that we are clothed with Christ this morning. In everything that we do, in everything that we stand for, we are clothed with Christ. Our minds, our thoughts, our desire and emotion, we surrender them this morning under the authority, under the government of Christ. Yes, our desire, our longings, passions, aspirations, oh God, ambition, whatever they may be, whatever it is in us that will make us turn away from you, from your will and desire. The desire of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, we bring them to an end. The passion to seek for something that only give us temporal joy, temporal fulfillment, we bring them to an end. This morning we proclaim, we go the way that is narrow. We seek for the narrow path. Yes, we seek for the ancient path. We ask for the way, yes. We ask for the road, yes. That brings us, that leads us to the place of peace. We walk in it. Oh, Spirit of the Lord, thank you this morning that you will continue to deal with us. You will continue to roar in us. You will continue to fight every dimension, yes, of the old man in us. We surrender as we lay on the altar as sacrifice and as the one offering the sacrifice we declare this morning that your fire will fall and consume every aspect of our flesh every aspect of the old nature every aspect of the old man we yield this morning to the comings of your kingdom we yield this morning to the comings of your kingdom let your kingdom come rule and reign over our thoughts over our desire over our counsels over our sense of knowledge we strip ourselves of everything oh god that we have imbibed that does not reflect that does not honor that will not bring glory to you we strip ourselves yes of the fig leaf we strip ourselves of the old nature we strip our minds our thought this morning we declare that our entire being is bound to a your towards your will we are bound towards your desire we are bound towards your counsel we pray this morning that your word like a mirror yes father will, 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 will expose the hidden parts of our life oh God to us and we will be able to yes yield them we declare that your word as a light will expose yes every dimension in us that does not bring glory to you oh God that your word like an armor we break yes that that stony heart you said in that day you will remove the heart of stone and give Israel the heart of flesh it is the heart of flesh that we desire thank you this morning that you will once again inscribe your laws upon the tablets of our heart as we surrender as we yield to you beyond just some information we want oh god your truth to be inscribed upon the very tablet of our heart we want to become carriers of the living word not dead words not words that leads to death but living word you give them living manner you fed them with living manner 
Christ, you are all about life. You are a life giver. You have come to give us life and life in abundance. This morning, we declare that we are partakers of life. We are partakers of life. We are partakers of truth. We are partakers of light. We are partakers of grace in the name of Jesus. We declare that we are changed. We are transformed. We are being transformed. We are being renewed. We are being empowered. Yes, we are being energized. Thank you for that which your spirit is doing this morning as we continue to engage your kingdom in our life. As we continue to open, yes, every aspect, every dimension of our life to, yes, the realities of your kingdom. We say, come, come, come in your glory. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your will overrule our will. Let your will overrule our values. Let your will, let your kingdom overrule the kingdom that we have imbibed. Yes, the kingdom of men, the kingdoms of this world that we have imbibed. We pray, O oh God, let your kingdom come and overrule this kingdom. Yes, the kingdom of me, myself, and I. Let your kingdom come. The kingdom of, yes, our ideologies, the kingdom of our family background, the kingdoms, yes, of our environment, of our nationality, the kingdom, O oh God, of our culture, of our fully humanistic Adamic nature. May your kingdom this morning come into this area so we can see the way you desire us to see and we can indeed respond in the way that kingdom citizens are designed to respond thank you God that doctrine is formed from the point and place of culture yes father that we will not just say words we will not just teach things that have not become a reality to us no we want to know you the excellency of your suffering we want to be conformed to your image Christ be formed in us that's the revelation of the coming of the kingdom. When Christ is formed in us, his kingdom manifests through us. Christ and his kingdom walk hand in hand. There is no kingdom without the revelation of Christ. Ah, Father, we pray this morning that every dimension of us, we come into this understanding and reality. Yes, Father, we bind ourselves this morning to the will of Christ. We seek to do his will as he sought to do your will while he walked on earth. He said, my desire is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish he says, I would dare not do anything except I have heard and I've seen. Is what I've seen and heard. Yes, my father do is what I do. His life was a, was a response, hallelujah, of heavenly desire, of heavenly order. He came to teach us. He came to tell us. He came to reveal to us how to live a life of the kingdom here on earth hallelujah and so father we pray this morning once again as we learn of christ that we will surrender that we will yield ourselves to the principles that he taught us that these things will not just be some information that has no power to transform us we pray that we will move beyond the letter we will come into the dimension of life for indeed the letter kills but the spirit gives life we are life giver we are receiving life this morning as we surrender yes to the altar for your work to be perfected and performing us uh, as we yield ourselves, oh God, as you remove every aspect that is not of you, as you begin to rebuild, oh God, this house, this structure. We pray in the name of Jesus that the revelation of Christ will be formed uh, in our thought, that the revelation of Christ uh, will be manifest, oh God, uh, in our desire. We pray this morning that our emotion, yes, Lord, uh, our psyche, our psychology, in the name of of Jesus, our feelings, uh, every dimension of our inner life, yes, Lord. Uh, we pray, oh God, that we will surrender in the name of Jesus. Our mind renewed this morning, our mind transformed this morning, our thoughts, yes, transformed this morning, our desire transformed this morning, our behavior reformed this morning. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Your word says, For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. 
salvation, your word cannot lie. We have seen men trying to be, yes, with Christ. They've tried, yes, to move with Christ, but they are not yet in Christ. We want to be swallowed up. We want to be enraptured. We want to be, yes, carried by Christ. Paul said, in him I live, in him I move, in him I have my being. This morning we pray that the revelation of being in Christ will become, yes, Lord, part and parcel of our existence. That we will know, oh God, that everything that we do is because we are in him. So he is the one leading us. He is the one guiding us. He is the one teaching us. He is the one instructing us. He is the one, yes, he is the one, not us, not my will. The will of a man is a reflection of his person. Our entire life is captured in that simple short statement, the will. And you gave us a will. You gave us a will because you did not create us to be robots. You want us to have the power of choice. You want us to have the power, yes, to decide. You created man your own image. Man can decide. That's why in the garden, you allow Adam to make his own choice. You allow Eve to make her own choice. You didn't force your will on them. You already gave them the will. Our desire, yes, is to train our will to know what is right. When you have a will, but you don't know what is right from what is wrong. You don't know what pleases God from what displeases him. And if you know it, but you have no power to execute it, then that will has not come of age. And so we pray this morning that our will will grow. Yes, Lord, that our will will grow to serve you. We will have, oh God, yes, the desire, the longing, the passion, the the the. The 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 the, 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 the cry, oh God, yes, Father, to please you. My will is to please you. Is to honor you. In everything that we do, a life established of a willing righteousness, a life motivated of a will that is pursuing Christ and righteousness. I want my will, my will to be a will that is born out of the will of Christ. In in Christ's will, you will find the right things. In, in, In having and walking in the will of Christ, we will know what to do in every given situation. When we have a will that is clouded by sin, by flesh, by our own ways, that will will lead us into things that we will regret and so this morning we bring our will we lay it on the altar we bring our will we lay it on the altar we bring our emotions we lay it on the altar we bring our feeling the way i feel it's not always yes the right the right way yes my feelings should not define my judgment how i feel should not determine my movement I may wake up. People say they wake up on the wrong side of the bed. There's nothing like that. You woke up with the wrong feeling. And you allow the feeling to define and determine your day. And then you feel, you know, somehow you don't feel happy. No, we bring our will and we lay it down. Yes, I I bind my, my life this morning to the will of Christ. That's how I pray when I wake up. I bind. To bind is a good word. The word bind is to come in agreement, is to be married. Bible says, yes, you know, when when God, you know, bind what God has joined together, when what God has bring together, let no man put asunder. Yes, yes. We need to learn how to bind ourselves to the will of God. You see, many a times we say we bind the devil. We, we're not supposed to be binding the devil. We're supposed to be losing the devil because he's already bound. And we see the activity of, of, of his union, yes, in our life or in some people's life or in other people's life or in a, you know, in a society. So you don't go and bind the devil. If you're binding him, you are reinforcing his authority and position over that situation. No, you lose his activity and you cast him away. You cast him yonder. You cast him to the dry place. Hallelujah. But you can bind yourself to Christ. When you bind yourself to Christ, remember, 
you live for him you do his bidding listen the bible said we are the bride of christ we've been bound to him by covenants hallelujah we've been bound to him by covenant so this morning when you pray you pray lord i bind my mind my soul my my entire being you know when you do that then you know that you must do the, you must do his bidding you must do his desire hallelujah this is how we pray friends lord i bind myself to you this morning the rebellious areas of my life i bind them to you they come into obedience they come into compliance they come into submission they come into divine agreement with you every part of my being i bind them to you i bind my thoughts i bind my soul i bind my mind i bind my children to your will i bind them to your good plans i bind them to your good desire in the name of jesus every part of my life oh god this morning i bind to your will i declare that there is no secret sin in my life i bind my mind i bind my soul i bind my desire to your will in the name of jesus i refuse yes rebellion rebellion is to go against the will of God. You know that. Rebellion is to go against the counsel of God. Rebellion is to go against the plans of God. And what the enemy wants is for us to live in rebellion. So this morning we choose to bind ourselves. We choose to unite ourselves. We choose to come into agreement. Yes, I declare all my spiritual uh, uh, disciples, all the ones, all the people following me, I bind you this morning to the will of God, to the eternal plan of God. I bind you to the prophetic counsels of God. I bind you this morning. I declare that you are united. Uh, you are married, yes, uh, to God's divine counsel for your life. You will not go against the will of God. Your flesh will not overrule the will of God over your life. Uh, I declare Declare your own desire will not overrule God's plan for you in the name of Jesus. You will not merry go round uh, this mountain. No, I declare right now, I bind you to the straight and narrow road uh, that heaven has ordained for you. I bind you right now to the to the direction, to the instruction, yes, to the to the plans of heaven for your life. I declare in the name of Jesus. This day your life will walk uh, in the path that God has ordained. As Jesus woke up every day and go to pray to know the will of his father he says only that which i see my father do i carry out i declare this morning that your sight yes is renewed uh, is transformed your sight yes is calibrated uh, to see to know to understand the will of god and i declare you have the power to execute what you know in the name of jesus i declare this morning that you are motivated uh, to know to accept uh, what god yes the good plans of god for you what, whatever that plan is and no matter how that plan you know pans out in the natural i declare you will accept it the will of god for your life will take you to a place you don't want to go but you will surrender the will of god will lead you to places uh, that you may feel in the natural it's not good for me but that you will surrender to the will of god you will understand the ways of the spirit you will understand the counsels of god you will not be uh, you will not be moved you will not be driven or led yes by your own falling natural humanistic uh, uh, understanding but rather you will live your life from the ascended direction from the ascended order yes of a life in christ i declare this day your life man that i will share the function from the ascended realm you will function from the order of the ascended priesthood you will move yes from the eternal order from the eternal priesthood of eternal life i declare this morning you will begin to hear and you begin to see and begin to smell and therefore get attracted to the reality of, of, of the kingdom of God I declare right now that you are walking you are coming into the paradise of God you are coming into the delight the realm of the delight you are coming into your own Eden in the name of Jesus I declare this day you will have peace peace will umpire your heart uh, in the name of Jesus uh, peace will umpire your heart you will be at perfect peace the Lord gives peace yes uh, in the name of Jesus he is the prince of peace you will have peace uh, in the name of Jesus peace will guide you peace will lead you peace will instruct you in the name of jesus you will live in righteousness uh, righteousness uh, this day yes man that above will guide you will lead you will instruct you in the name of jesus uh, you will you will move you will act you will speak uh, you will you you will decide from the position of righteousness uh, you will have a right standing with god uh, you will live in the order yes of perpetual viewing uh, yes the presence of god you will live in the day yes where men are behind 
beholding the glory of God in the name of Jesus your life will reflect this morning yes the light of God the goodness of God you will delight yourself in the Lord uh, and he will give you the desires of your heart I say you would des- you would delight yourself uh, in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus I declare you are the righteousness of God uh, in Christ Jesus uh, I declare that you are the righteousness of God uh, you are not of this world uh, your life is a reflection of the heavenly order you are saturated uh, you are saturated uh, by heavenly wisdom uh, you are saturated uh, by heavenly knowledge uh, you are saturated uh, by the spirit of counsel by the spirit of love by the spirit of truth uh, in the name of Jesus I declare God's goodness and mercy will continue yes to guide you to lead you in the name of Jesus you are broken away from the hold of the enemy because you are in covenant with Christ Because of the covenant of the blood, you have sanity, you have knowledge, you have counsel, you have wisdom, you have understanding, you have righteousness, you have peace, and you have joy. You are not anxious about anything, but in all things with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, your request is made known unto God and the peace of God the shalom of God that 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 transcend yes every order every pattern every knowledge every ideology of what is called knowledge and wisdom and rest this morning I declare in the name of Jesus because your life pleases God because you seek to please him your life will flow in the direction of peace and joy and satisfaction yes he will satisfy you with good things he will satisfy your mouth with good things this morning I declare your feet is established yes upon the unmovable, unmovable path your feet is established upon the rock for he himself is your rock he is your stability he is your firm foundation therefore you are not shaking, you are not moved I declare this morning that life will flow in you and through you in the name of Jesus you are surrounded, you are surrounded in righteousness, you are surrounded in love, you are surrounded in joy, in mercy in peace, I declare the goodness of God will never depart from you you will continue to live life in the order of the spirit in the order of the second man the last Adam, your life will continue to reflect, hallelujah, God God's divine good pleasure. You will live your life in the pleasures of God. You will walk in the authority, in the knowledge, in the wisdom of God. I declare this morning that your life is rooted by the streams of water. Hallelujah. There is no dryness in you. There is no barrenness in you. There is no dryness in you. I declare you are like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth, yes, a fruit in due season. Your due season, no one, no system, no power, no entity, yes, can nullify it, can alter it. I declare in the name of Jesus, the good seed that you are and the good seed that, yes, has been sown into your life is yielding and bringing forth fruit in their due season. I declare this morning you are like a tree planted by the rivers of water. In a land where there is no water you are connected to the ever living water to the streams of God. I declare you will flow like a river in the name of Jesus. I say you will flow like a river. You will flow like a river and the river of God will flow into you in the name of Jesus. You will walk and not faint in the name of Jesus. You will walk and not be weary in the name of Jesus. You will soar with wings like eagle. You will fulfill God's prophetic desire and design. I declare you are God's word in action. Every word that God designed your life for you will execute in the name of Jesus. I declare that every Every word that God ex- God has designed and ordained for you, you will execute. You are the word of God in manifestation. You are the word of God in processor. You are the word of God in experience. All that is in your life, all that is coming to you right now, they are attractions of God's truth, of God's will, of God's counsel. There are no devils in your life. There is no sickness in your life. There is no disease in your life. There is no disease in your life. There are no infirmities in your life. I declare this day that 
that heaven yes watches over you heaven covers you heaven watches over you heaven covers you you are God's word in action you are the bridge yes uh, between heaven and earth uh, your life yes uh, is the transmitter of divine life uh, yes into human space uh, I declare in the name of Jesus your life katalaba, is the bridge uh, between the, between the spiritual and the natural in the name of Jesus I declare this morning that everything that defines you yes is, is good uh, yes is good is good uh, you are a manifestation of excellence uh, in the name of Jesus I declare that you are a manifestation of excellence uh, you are a manifestation of productivity you are a manifestation of creativity you are a manifestation of divine restoration you are a manifestation of hope uh, you are a very expression you are the very expression of faith in action in the name of Jesus as you leave the old uh, you embrace the new as you leave the former you embrace yes the new I declare you will enter into this glorious day knowing fully well that God has gone ahead of you that Christ has gone ahead of you he is the chief prophet who has gone ahead of you he has made a way for you where there seemed to be no way you will begin to understand the ways and the dimensions of the spirit you will agree and come into confluence uh, with spiritual realities uh, in the name of Jesus I declare this day you are established uh, upon the rock uh, you are established upon the eternal foundation God's word will motivate you God's word will guide you God's word is leading you God's word yes uh, is steering you right now I declare you have been ignited uh, with the fire of the living God uh, the fire of God right now is steering you you are motivated uh, you are passionate uh, for God and the things of his kingdom I declare this morning I say you are passionate uh, and motivated uh, for the realities of the kingdom my meat is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish it it will be a prayer this morning to finish to desire to long for yes uh, to find fulfillment uh, to find joy to find strength uh, to find yes grace uh, in doing the will of God you will embrace uh, you will embrace God's counsel for your life uh, you will not seek uh, that which is cheaper uh, you will not seek that which is popular you will not seek uh, to go the pseudo way no but you will search you will seek for the Asian path uh, and you will walk in it uh, in the name of Jesus I declare this morning you will walk in the Asian path you will walk in the path uh, yes of Enoch uh, you will walk in the ways and in the path uh, of Noah you will walk and you will locate uh, the path uh, of Abraham you will walk in the path of Moses uh, in the name of Jesus you will walk in the path of Sarah you will walk in the path of, of Simeon you will walk in the path uh, in the name of Jesus of Anna you will walk in the ways and in the path of Ruta you will embrace the nature and the culture of Esther in the name of Jesus I declare this day that your life is in en, is in rapture your life is in rapture in the glory of God oh you will begin to see the glory of God the glory of God you will see the glory of God you will experience heaven will open uh, over your space over your life uh, I declare this morning the kingdom of God uh, will continue to make his way into your space uh, like in the days uh, of Jacob uh, the heavens will be open uh, in the name of Jesus and you will begin to see an experience uh, the ascending and the descending of angelic messengers uh, in the name of Jesus uh, you are not confused uh, for everything that God desired to do in your life and through your life within your space and through your space uh, you will see you will come into contact uh, you will come into knowledge of heavenly realities uh, in the name of Jesus I proclaim I declare that heaven is open unto you I say you will come into the knowledge the experience uh, of God's divine intention for every step uh, you take in the name of Jesus uh, you will not take based on your own will your will today is nailed to the cross uh, your ways uh, is nailed to the cross your former life has come to an end uh, this, this day you begin to walk uh, in the ways of Christ in the mind of Christ in the will of Christ I bind you this day to the will of Christ to the mind of Christ I declare this morning that you are Christ's bride you will do the bidding of the Lord you will carry the seed friends listen to this the reason why we are Christ's bride is to be able to carry the seed of God's will and manifest it in the earth I know that there is a marriage waiting for us when we get to heaven but there is a marriage that we are already in right now for the fact that we have given our life to Jesus. To give your life to Jesus, amen, is to come into union with him. Is to be married to him. 
is to be married to his will to his ways so your life hallelujah yes is the very expression of the will of god on earth yes if two shall agree as touching anything if two shall agree as touching anything it shall be done i pray this morning that you will come into divine agreements you will agree with everything the father has designed for you and if you if you if you know the word of god at least in the little way i know it i know that the will of god for me hallelujah they are good they are not evil it may sometimes look evil it may sometimes feel evil but i can assure you there is no evil in my father there is no evil in god all that god does is good and righteous he is the very def definition of righteousness uh, everything that he is is light there are no darkness in him uh, in the name of Jesus if you see darkness know that God's light is going to shine there so you can be rest assured you can be rest assured this morning that all things are working together for your good you know why because you've submitted yourself to the will of god you've submitted yourself to the counsel of his kingdom his kingdom is coming his will is being done in your life as it is done in heaven you are allowing it to be done in your space in the name of jesus i pray this morning that you will surrender to this prayer you will surrender to what god is doing god has a will for you for today for this week for this month for this year for this decade i declare this morning that you are bound to that will i declare this morning you will search that will out and you will begin to respond to it in obedience in the name of jesus so you can find rest for your soul so you can find rest for your soul spirit of the lord we honor your name we honor your name that this morning we can walk in the knowledge in the knowledge of your eternal counsel in the knowledge of your eternal will and plans and purposes we thank you this morning that our life is the very expression of your will of your will on earth of your plans on earth of your desire on earth of your intentions on earth this morning we declare oh God that we are wrapped in the knowledge of your counsel yes all things are working together. All things, including those things that may not look as if they are actually working together for my good. All things are working together. Thank you, Spirit of God, because you know me. Yes, before the earth began, you've known me and surnamed me and ordained me. Yes, for such a time as this, I thank you, Spirit of the living God, that I'm at rest. I'm at peace where I am because indeed I know that where I am right now is part of your program for my life. Yes, where I am right now is part of your desire and design for my life. I embrace this day. I embrace whatever this day has in stock because indeed you arranged this day. This is the day that you have made. There's no day that the devil made. The devil has no power to create a day. This is the day the Lord has made. And therefore, I choose to rejoice. I choose to rejoice. I choose to celebrate. I choose to live a life of, of glory. I choose to live a life of obedience. I choose to live a life, yes, that will honor you. Because this is, this is the day that you have made. And I yield to the advancement of your prophetic counsel for today. I yield, yeah, yes, Lord, to the to the prophetic demand of this day. I yield, oh God, to the prophetic counsel of this weekend in the name of Jesus. This day, Almighty God, I surrender. Have your way. The 14th day of the month of October 2022, 20, I surrender. I yield myself, my home, my family. <clears throat> my children, my wife, my household, this walk you have committed into my hands, I yield it, I surrender it to your will, to your counsel, to your plans, to your purposes. I declare, oh God, that everything that you desire and design that we carry out today, it is, it will be so. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. You are the expression of love. I embrace your love. I embrace your word. I embrace your mercy. I embrace your truth. I embrace your goodness. I embrace everything that you have ordained. Thank you, Spirit of God, that my confidence is in you. My confidence is not in myself. I have nothing that I've planned. Yes, you are my plan. Every step that I take, 
I take it because I hear your voice, because I hear your mind, because I want to please you. So I declare this morning that you are the one leading me. You are the one guiding me. You are the one instructing me. You are the one, yes, motivating me. I am motivated not by what I hear or see or I read on social media. I am motivated because I know you have given me, yes, your Holy Spirit, your Ruach. Your Holy Spirit is in me, speaking to me, guiding me, directing me. Hallelujah. I rejoice in the greatest gift you've given to humanity your spirit <clears throat> I rejoice oh God in the ministry of your spirit oh hallelujah I celebrate this morning <clears throat> the function of the Holy Spirit in my life I incline my ears this morning to hear I take my eyes of the natural realm because we live life from within out I refuse to be influenced by what my eyes see or what my ears hear I focus on what you are saying I focus on what you are declaring I focus on what you are showing me son of man what do you see I want to see in accordance to your view to your eyes oh God I pray once again that our vision will be awakened will be enlightened that will be calibrated that we will see the way you want us to see that we will hear the way you desire us to hear so we can speak in the accuracy of the moment <clears throat> Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, I thank you for all our friends and loved ones all across the world, wherever they are, wherever they will be listening to this broadcast. I pray for them. I bring their mind to quietness. I bring their faculty to quietness. I bring them to the divine order, to the divine regulation of the administration of your kingdom. I declare your kingdom come into their space, wherever they are, in Europe, in Asia, in America, in the Pacific, in the islands, I declare this morning, yes, that they are brought, oh God, under the influence and the authority of your kingdom. Here in the continent of Africa, everyone, we declare this morning, your government reached them. Your will and counsel is established in their lives, in their lives oh God. They will not make haste. They will not be afraid. They will not be anxious. They will not... Be, giving to the lies of the enemy they will not give in to the spirit of anxiety to fear they will not give in to doubt but they will trust in you in the name of jesus steer their heart this morning oh god ignite their heart this morning with a fresh fire with a fresh sense of hope in the name of jesus yes in the war-torn areas of the world in the areas where there are famines and uncertainties and all kinds of carnages and destruction we are seeing father may your people come into you you are their refuge you are their refuge you are their high tower you are their citadel we proclaim this morning that we can run into you and these men and women have run into you make their life oh god yes an example of one secure in you oh the anchor still holds the anchor of faith still holds may they may their life be anchored in you may they not be shaken may they not be moved may they stand upon your word may they look into that word day and night and find strength and hope in it your unshakable word heaven and earth will pass away but not a stroke not a jot of your word will go unfulfilled may the fulfillment of your word this day become manifest in their life may they become the manifestation of that which is said and it came to pass oh spirit of god I pray for all ministers, ministers of the gospel all across the world. A new sense of vision, the grace to return, to return back to their stronghold, Christ. To return back to the place of truth, to return back to the place, yes, 
of divine yes security to return back to the place of truth and integrity to return back i pray this morning that your servants yes will come to the place of renewal will come to the place of refreshing will come to the place of cleansing we will come to the place of trust he said trust in the lord with all your heart lean not unto your understanding in all your ways acknowledge him we acknowledge you this morning so our paths can be directed I bless you Lord I pray for all all of our children and grandchildren many of them going to school this morning some of them coming back from school some of them going to bed with the various time zones that we have but wherever they are this morning I pray your angels will continue to minister to them that the work culture the demonic spirit out there targeting children will not touch them will not come near their dwelling we secure them this morning in truth we secure them this morning in righteousness we secure their mind on the foundation of Christ the def the, the definator the definer of love that they will know the true love that the that the perver perversion out there that is infiltrating even our school system will not touch them i pray for our kids our children i pray lord for yes our toddlers i pray for our teenagers i pray for our teens i pray lord that this day they will be awakened to your to your love to your truth the enemy will not use the issues of insecurity will not use the issues of low self-esteem to destroy them no we boost their self-esteem and their self-esteem is established because they know who they are in christ jesus i pray this morning that they will learn to say no to evil that they will learn to say no to that which is evil evil that portrays itself as good they will see beyond the veneer they will see beyond the veil and they will say no in the name of jesus they will say no they will refuse evil they will reject evil they will reject unrighteousness they will reject yes perversion walk ideas they will reject yes the idea that say you must see yourself and love yourself and you are your god and you can yes become anything without god no they will say no they will come to understand what the word of god says that without christ i am nothing they will get to find their identity in christ everything is sourced from a source nothing is sourced by source nothing is sourced from within itself everything is created to depend on something to exist even the idea comes from somewhere so we pray this morning that our children will be intelligent they will walk in truth they will walk in grace they will walk in wisdom they will walk in understanding and our parents we as parents we will do yes our part to teach them teach your children the word of God even when you think they are not listening just teach them anyhow sow the seed of God's word in their life because there is an enemy out there that is sowing yes perversion corruption sowing tars among the right seed the Bible says while while men were sleeping the enemy came in don't let the enemy sneak into the life of your children every day i try yes to talk to my children and pray for them of recent before i broadcast i just fell a leading to pray for them i know they pray for themselves i've taught them to pray for them but i just feel a leading you pray for them there's a spirit out there that is after our children that wants to destroy them and we refuse that spirit whatever that spirit amen is coming from and with whatever disguise we unveil them we declare our children will serve God. Their generation will know God. There is a generation rising up that don't want to have anything to do with God or the things of God. We refuse that. We refuse that. We reject that. 
We declare that our children will be exception. They will serve God. Their children's children will serve God. If the Lord tarry, their children's children's children will serve God. In the name of Jesus, we declare this morning that we pass a legacy of truth and righteousness to them. They will love God. They will not love religion. And they will not assume religion for ecclesia or the things of God. No, my children, if there's one thing that I've given to my children, they know the difference between religion and true church. They know that we are the church. It's not a building. It's not a building. So then my children know. And they know how to track God in their life. They're not perfect. But I'm showing them the difference. Because one of the problems that we grew up with. Is that we didn't know the difference between religion and church. And the true sense of following Christ. We have to teach our children. Because the devil is using everything out there. To capture he will use entertainment he will use education he will use the school the school environment he will use you know the movies what they watch on the moon on, you know on, on 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 the internet they will the enemy is using yes youtube as much as all of these platforms are good platforms but if you are not there to watch to guide to protect them the enemy will sneak in into their lives I'm not saying your children cannot watch TV and watch. No, but you have to tell them. My children already know what they can watch, what they are not supposed to watch. They know, yes, the cartoons they are supposed to watch and the ones they are not supposed to watch. Zadok, when he's watching his program and, you know, suddenly YouTube comes with all kinds of things. Maybe uh, they come with some Halloween my children, Simon and Jemima, immediately go and change it. We don't do Halloween. They know that because I taught them that. You see, what you don't teach your children, don't blame them when they start manifesting it. I don't know why, I'm, why the Lord is directing our you know, prayer towards this direction as I'm rounding up this morning. But I need you to understand that it's our responsibility to inform our children teach them about what true sex is all about don't say they are too small begin to teach them because if you are not i can assure you somebody is already teaching them the environment is already teaching them yes that device you gave to them is already teaching them and they are learning the wrong thing your children are your legacy so you have to build the right one i don't want to come on air and preach to people and people are liking my message why my children are not in alignment. No. So I try by the grace of God to balance it. Sometimes when I'm not on air it's because I have to minister to my, to my family. So we, we have to balance it. Ministry. Amen. One cannot be more important than the other. You've got to balance the, tr- the two. And I'm not sure there is a balance. But as the spirit of God leads you. Yes. You have to respond. If the spirit says today I need you to minister to your children. That's what I do. I don't come on air. Because I can't divide myself into two. (laughs) You understand? I have to be a priest to you. And I have to be a priest. Amen. To my family. I have to be a priest to my wife, to my children. I have to be a priest. Yes. To my environment. The Lord must help us in this new day. We've got to develop wisdom in our dimension. Don't lose your children to walk. Because you are too busy going to walk. Looking for money. And then you've lost your children. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sometimes you may not have, you know, as much as you want. But at least you have enough time to cater for your children. Then accept it. Don't have all the money of this world while you have lost your children. And, yet, and, and, and therefore you, you, you don't even know how to spend the money again. Come on. You've got to know what the Lord is doing. That's why heaven wants us to. To know how to prioritize our life. You can't always have everything you want. You have to make choices based on priority. There are parents today that their children are in prison. They are not supposed to be there. They drop the ball on their children. They refuse to discipline when they are supposed to discipline. They refuse to talk when they are supposed to talk. 
They refuse to, you know, to, you know, to even give an ID when they're supposed to give an ID. Now they've become government's property. They're in prison. Or the devil is having, you know, a nice time with them. No. Come on. It's time you take back your children. It's time you take back your daughter. It's time you take back, amen, your son. And it all begins from the place of, first of all, repenting of not doing what you're supposed to do and then begin to pray. Don't just go and start engaging them because some, somebody said you heard that. Ah, no, you have to start praying for them. Prayer works. And then the prayer will begin to give you direction. Prayer will begin to give you direction. Prayer will begin to tell you now it's time. If you have children all right, that are no longer around you or maybe you are even a, a, a divorcee, you know, your, your children are somewhere and you are somewhere else. Don't go and start bumping yourself into, no, begin to pray. Let your prayer create enough can, you know, energy. Let your prayer create enough energy so that when you go there, the love of God in you will, will overwhelm them. We win by love. We never win by hate and we never win by imposing ourselves. No, we win by love. We live in a work culture. We live in a broken, dysfunctional world. We can make it good because, amen, the life of God is flowing through us. Come on, friends. Father, this is our prayer this morning. We want to be responsible, but we cannot do it by our own strength. We have no might of our own. I don't know what is going on in the school this morning as my children arrive, but I know I've prayed for them. I know your angels are watching over them. Yes, that's called trust. You can't be anxious. Uh, well, I don't know what's... No, no. You lift them. You commit them into the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. You commit them into the hand of the Lord. That no wrong influence, no wrong friend will influence them. Nobody will influence them and start introducing ungodly things to them. No! That's why you have to show your children pure love. Pure love protect them from evil. Because the devil always uses the issue of there's no enough love at home. Mommy don't have time for me. Daddy don't have time for me. Then their world is built around social media. I can afford to get, you know, phones for my children. I said, no, you don't have phones now. They've got devices, but they don't have a phone. There are no SIM card in their device because this, this is not the time to be chatting to somebody. This is the time, amen, to chat with your book, to get to know what God is saying, to get to develop yourself, get to love, get to be a friend to your, you know, to, you know, to your, you know, to, to, to your academics. It's not the time to come home and start chatting with, no, 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 what are you chatting about? You've done enough chatting in school. Come on, friends. You've got to build things. You've got to build values. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You've got to build values. You've got to build values in your children. Come on. Start teaching them. Teach them. Teach them about how to manage money. Teach them about how to love themselves. Teach them how to, how to have, you know, self-affirmation teach them teach them that the edu of their friend is no better than their, 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 than their own edu yes teach them that you know that, that sneakers your, your friend has got in school is not better than the one you have that may be a brand and you are not wearing a brand that, that doesn't make you know that that person is better than you you've got to teach them you've got to give them value you've got to imprint what true life is all about. There's a false life out there. False life. And they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are pushing these things on our kids. Then they start feeling disorientated, dysfunctional, confused. No. No. You have to let them know. Understand every stage of their growth. Track with them. Walk with them. Yes, there are times you need to give them space. But there are times you need to invade their space. You need to know. Let the spirit of God guide you. You can only do this thing. Via the power and the authority of the spirit. Be in the spirit. 
and you will see the victory of God. Come on, friends. Isn't that a good way to pray this morning? Father, we thank you. Oh, we love you, Lord. <laughs> Every day is new. I have no I, I have no clue of how we're gonna pray this morning. I just knew that God wants us to pray. Okay, let's pray. That's it. Father, we love you. We, ap we appreciate you. We express gratitude to you. We rejoice in you. What a way to end the week. To begin the weekend. Hallelujah. Come on, friends. You are the expression of love. The goodness of God surrounds you. The mercy of God engulfs you. You are rooted in Christ. Not in the crisis. Take your eyes off the crisis. And begin to, yes, draw into the love of God. Draw into the presence of God. Draw into God's will and plans and purpose. Affirm yourself via the word of God. Let Christ, let Christ be formed in you. You know how you do that? You stay on his, on his mind. You stay on his word. And you let, you know, the areas of your life be permeated. Yes, by the mind of Christ, by the thought of Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you this morning. That your goodness and mercy will continue to follow us. That we will continue to walk in blessings. Because indeed, our desire is to be a blessing. There is no poverty in our space. You, you, you supply all our needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I bless you this morning. Thank you for all my sisters this morning. Thank you Lord for Sister Tina, Sister Kumisa. Thank you for Sister Priscilla, Sister Lucadia. Thank you Father for our life. Thank you Spirit of God for Brother Shafiki. In the name of Jesus, Sister Katie, Kate. Thank you Spirit of God for Sister Mary. Amen, Brother Mervyn. Thank you Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. I'm not seeing Sister Myrtle, but I pray for Sister Myrtle this morning and all their projects that they are having and they're carrying out in Ladies of Hope. We pray for them. I pray for all of you. I pray for your ministries and initiatives and assignments in your workplace. I declare you are the head and not the tail. The favor of God is upon you. The goodness of God, yes, leads you, guides you. I declare that the life and the light of God will flow. You are the temple of the living God. You are a living epistle. No devil, no power, no entity, no personality. Yes, can, can ride you, can hinder you, can frustrate you. No, I declare in the name of Jesus. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in Babylon. Babylon will not swallow you up. I declare that Egypt will not swallow you up. Egypt has no power over you. Babylon has no power over you. The armies of the Assyrians have no authority to override you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Take your stand. Take your place. Let the light of God shine through you. Break through in the name of Jesus. Break through this morning. Break through your business. Break through your career. Break through in your assignment in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the spirit of creativity, productivity over you. I declare in the name of Jesus, the spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. I proclaim, I declare that this day you will walk and not be weary in the name of Jesus. Weariness has no place in you. In the name of Jesus, needs and lack has no place in you. You are complete in Jesus. Christ complete you. Christ complete you. You are good enough. <laughs> you are good enough. The word of God says, Amen. You are the righteousness of God. The spirit of excellency dwells in you. Yes. 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 The Lord is quickening your mind. The Lord will remind you of things that needs to be remi rem reminded in the name of Jesus. You have, yes, your, cog your cognition will function, yes, to the glory of God, to the best of his, of his intention. Every part of your life this day will bring forth, will yield forth, will produce in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we honor your name. 
Just thank you. We just honor your name. Thank you, Father. Unto you be all glory and honor and praise. Thank you for all our friends all across the world. In United Kingdom, in Germany. Everyone following us. Friends, we've got people from different parts of the world following us. Listening. Join, joining in this. We may not see them. You may not know them. But I can show you. <laughs> our community reaches beyond our imagination. And we thank God for people that God is adding. The people that are coming into this realm, into this sphere. Lord, you secure them. You secure their initiative, their work, their call. They will continue to see the glory of your kingdom manifest in them and through them. Yes. All that you have ordained for us in this new day, in this new season. We will fulfill it. We are the ones who worship God in spirit and in truth. We have no confidence in the flesh. Our life is hidden in Christ. We rejoice even among the crisis, within the crisis. We declare that we have abundance. Because the Lord has deemed it so. Because the Lord has proclaimed it so. We receive all that the Father has designed for us today. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so very much everyone this morning that have joined us. And those that will be listening to this broadcast later on. I want to thank God for your life. Please do listen to this uh, 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 broadcast again if you if you if you didn't really have the time to start from the beginning. Just see how the Spirit of the Lord led us and continue to just live in the atmosphere of prayer. All right, you 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 can download this these teachings, you know, and just play them in your in your vehicles. You understand? Well, I don't even think you need to download them today. You can use your Wi-Fi and just you know reconnect and just soak yourself, just soak yourself in this word, in this proclamation, in this declaration, and let. Let every part of your life adjust to the values and standard of God for your life. It is well with your soul. Keep yourself in the love of God. Keep yourself in the joy of the Lord. And let Christ continue to be formed in you. Remember, the kingdom of God is coming. And you will never be the same again. God bless you. I love you all. Please continue to pray. Continue to pray for me. I'm praying strongly. Please pray with me. I'm praying by the end of this month that we want to start our project again in, in regards to my office. Whatever you feel the Spirit of God will lay in your heart. Please do assist. Right? Uh, this, this, this work, this project has been on a hold for a while. I just want to see how far we can go again. Even if it's just to do some things. We want to lay you know, the flooring you know, uh, of, of my office. So, Please, if the Lord will minister to you, please do support because I do need your support. God, God bless you. And thank you for those of us that have been assisted in one way or the other. May God continue to enrich you. May God continue to bless you. May his love and goodness continue to amen, flow into your life like a river. I do appreciate, amen, your, your giving and your prayers. I do appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Love you all. Have yourself a wonderful and a fruitful day. And of course, on a blessed weekend. We'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you.